Teresa has been having a wonderful time with our brand new gingham papers, and I'm here to show you what the lady's been up to. Will you please come play with us? Before I get into the projects, I just wanted to give you a little introduction. Now, about a year ago, maybe a little bit longer, we did dotted duos, and we did three assortments, and uh, they have, what we really wanted was to have something for all seasons, all reasons, and this was our choice. So they have small dots on one side and larger dots on the other in a variety of colors. Well, step two, uh, we wanted to do gingham, and the gingham looks like this. It also has a small one on one side and a larger on the other in six different colors. And as you might guess, yes, they can coordinate. <laughs> okay, and so we have them in 12 by 12, in six by six, and we have coordinating cardstock, so everything goes together. And let me show you what Teresa has done. And we're going to begin with this. We'll get in a little bit closer just so you can really see. And this is our regular five by six and a half inch card. And you can see what she's done is she's used the uh, 12 by 12 paper. This is the gingham that's on the front of the package that you saw. And this is using our um, oval dies. And what I love that Teresa did is she really showed how you can use them because look at this um, solid one. This is out of the cardstock, and you can see it is the scallop that has just been used by itself. But then she turned the cardstock over, and I don't think I told you that. The cardstock is white on the back side and it's printed on the front side. What that means is that you will always, always have white cardstock, so you don't need to buy extra, unless, of course, you want to. So this is using the scallop edge, but then a smooth one, a smooth oval uh, die next to it, so that then you're going to get a frame. And she's done this two times, and I think that just looks really, really nice. Now, Teresa is um, really well known <laughs> for doing many things, one of which is her wonderful treatments of ribbons. And you can see that she has wrapped this, actually she just tucked the ends underneath the gingham before she attached it to her card. And then the bow is a separate piece that she has zotted on. And this, as you can probably imagine, comes from our light pink ribbon set. So that's just going to do a really nice um, accent there. The other thing that she has done is she's used some products that we've become terribly fond of. And one of them are the Easy 3D Toppers, and these come from Holland. Now, I have to tell you, I'm not really excited by this photograph, but, but look what they become. And I think this is something to get excited by. You're going to get 10 images in this one package. In fact, they're even separately packaged, which is sort of wonderful. And they are all die cut, and they're die cut without a white edge, so they go right next to the artwork. And, let me pull this out, you're going to get at least three layers. Now, Teresa has foam taped them all together onto the front of her card. But let me just show you the three layers individually. And I'm not sure if you can see this. We might need to get in closer, Steve. But they also have some glitter on them. Thank you, that's perfect. And I'm not sure that you can see it. I can feel it as well as see it. And it just makes a really lovely finish. So you just foam tape them to go on top of the matching artwork just like that, just like Teresa has done right here. And doesn't that just make a really nice statement? Now the other thing, do you see these dew drops? Well, they're not dew drops. They are actually come from 49 and Market has wishing bubbles. And um, I bought a ton of these because I really wanted to have them for you. And look what she's done, these little uh, kind of flatter ones. Uh, she's used for dew drops, and they're just beautiful, just gorgeous. Now, on the inside of this card, she's used the larger gingham, which I think is interesting because this is a smaller space since she's cut it down. She matted it onto the gingham cardstock, and this is all gingham number two. Gingham number one, um, you'll see it earlier. Actually, you should have seen it earlier this month with Lynne and Debbie doing some wonderful projects. So what she's done here is she has taken another one of the 10 packages in that one pack, 
got that. There's 10 of them in one. And she's just used two layers for this because it's probably on the inside of her card. She just wanted it to be um, a little bit flatter. But she's also used the dewdrops look. And these come from uh, this set. And you can see it. See, this is called Soda Pop. The other one is called Taffy. OK, so she's used both. And uh, you're going to be seeing a lot of those. Now, these ovals are cut out of the cardstock, again, white, and you've got a color. And then she has used our dazzles. And this is the tiny words and phrases dazzles. You get them in black, white, gold, silver. She's got gold right there. And that just does a really nice job. So you're seeing a lot of new things this time. And that's always fun. Now, let's move into our second card. And what Teresa has done is a slimline card. So I guess I need you to back up a little bit, Steve. We'll just keep doing this to you, just going back and forth and see what happens. OK, so our slimline cards, as you know, you can either fold your own or we have them all packaged for you, 10 in a package. They measure um, eight and a half inches long and three and a half inches wide, which is uh, kind of the typical um, slim line design but what Teresa has done is she's gone into the cardstock and she used the circles cutting die now this was designed specifically for slim line cards although it's really kind of wonderful you could use it for many things so she has done this onto the cardstock out of the um, gingham number two and just glued it in the middle you can see how the card just really frames that then she went into our old favorite, our four inch wide doilies. She placed one right here and one right there. Now this goes on top of the cutout. And then she just trimmed them to fit the card, okay? You get 20 in this package, so that's, they're gonna go a long way. Now, to do her embellishing, yes, she's gone into another package. This is the purple slash blue flowers. And she's used several of them because there's two here on the front. And I can almost guarantee you there's going to be another one on the inside. It's the same idea. There are three layers. They've got some gold, or excuse me, they've got some glitter on top. But she's done two different ones here. You can see these purple and then these um, kind of orchid color. It's really pretty. It just fills up that space so nicely. Now, this is one of the uh, die cuts, or excuse me, one of the cutouts from the package and um, she's matted it, and then um, just did the, again, the um, dazzles to go in just a note. So that looks really pretty on the outside. On the inside, well, Teresa has taken yet another of the flowers, the 3D flowers. Let me do this flat for you. And let me open this up, because I just wanna share with you how she has done this because rather than stacking them, which is really kind of what they're designed for, she has laid them out and made them longer. So here's that first layer, and then the second one went here, and the third one went on top. Uh, kind of like that. Let's see, one right, right here. Let me turn it the other way. Okay, so she's kind of made them make a spray, so you've got that option. And you know, I told you something incorrectly. Let me show you. This piece actually comes from the eight labels for your greetings. So you can see it's right here. And she did die cut the gingham, the tiny gingham. I think it's really out of the six by six, because you can see that's a much smaller gingham. Then she matted it on the cardstock. For the piece on the inside, yes, that's another of the dies from this. And I love the gray, on the, it's just such a really pretty color. And then again, those dazzles um, are going to work so nicely with it. So that is exactly what she has done. Again, there is, just noticing there's just a small piece of the gingham, it too has been matted, and a half of a doily right there. So it gives it kind of a base for those flowers coming up. But isn't that pretty how they kind of just spray going up the inside of the card. Really, really nice. Well, of course it is. That's what we expect from our Teresa. Now, let me give you another card that is so Teresa. And um, here we go. So I'm going to open this up just so you can really see. So I flip him and him. 
and him, and there you go. Yes, I have a male cat, so I guess I'm thinking cats are boys. Um, really fun, isn't it? Now this is going to begin with a piece of the cardstock, and it's going to measure 12 inches by six inches. One thing I want to tell you before I get too much further is that the cardstock is printed on a great big sheet. So here are three sheets, and you're going to get 12 of them in your, in your kit, in your package. They are micro-perfed in the center. So when they're micro-perfed, you're going to get a little bit of a fuzzy edge. So you'll just want to shave that off with your paper trimmer, okay? And that will work very nicely. I just wanted to make sure that you knew that and it wasn't a surprise. So 12 by six, then we're going to make three score lines. So beginning from our left, an inch and five eighths, four inches and five eighths, seven inches and five eighths and make a score line. You can do that with the um, scoreboard that we have or do it by hand, whatever you like. Now, because you're going to be using our cardstock, if you like, it's going to be colored on the inside, but white on the back, so that when you fold these, we're going to go into a valley fold, a mountain fold, a valley fold, just like that. And then you have it exactly what Teresa has done right here. So you can see, now mine's gonna pop up because I don't have my bone folder, but I just wanted to show you that you'll have white on the front and then you'll have the coloring on the inside when you do it this way. Really nice, okay, you like that? Now Teresa has gone into another package that we have and it is called our feline friends let me grab this here and um, i've kind of been saving this for launching it one of the things we wanted to show you with the gingham is how many things you can do so we've got flowers we've certainly covered that nicely but we also can do kitties or we can do all sorts of things and there are I believe something like 130 die cuts in here so let me show you what Teresa has used so you've got your card you saw that then she is going to take the ginghams and this is out of the six by six ginghams and she's going to cut a piece right here and then she's going to put a dazzle border on it and that is out of our silver border dazzles. Pretty, isn't it? And just add just a touch. Now, because she's added silver in, she wants to duplicate that in some other areas. So let me show you what she's done. In her circles, I guess I really need to show you what these look like out of the, in the package. Okay, so here's one of the sheets, and you can see this is the large one that she used right here but it looks a little plain, at least it did to our Teresa. So what she decided to do was to get Hunky Dory's um, shimmer cardstock and to die cut it using, of course, our circles and scallop die. And that is going to give her a silver frame around the kitty. And I think it just dresses it up. You know, when you look at that, that looks just really fine, but that just looks finer, don't you think? <laughs> so really, really sweet. Now, this also has some greetings on it as well. So the especially for you gets foam taped on top. Teresa also went into some of our new items from 49 and Market. And this uh, is the wishing bubbles. Now this is, there's two of them that are used here. I seem to have misplaced one of them, but that's the toffee. And this is the cotton candy. So you can see they can kind of look like um, dew drops or they can go, some of them are on foam tape and they're going to be lifted even higher. So she's used two colors here, as you can see. Now she also did kind of a typical Teresa thing, and I'm sorry I'm saying this last, but she went into the ribbons and cut a piece a little bit longer than this piece and tucked it and glued it behind the paper before she attached that paper to her card. Sorry I did that out of sequence. This comes from our white ribbon set, as you would imagine. 
Okay, now you can see that she's playing with two color combinations, and that's kind of fun to be able to do. So you saw that big one on the front. Let me put that to the side. And let's open this. So now she's going into kind of the pinky salmon color. And let me show you that sheet. And here is our little kitty. Now again, it looks fine, but it just looks finer with that, with that little frame. And again, so she's gone back. She's pulled out another one of the greetings from a different sheet. And she's um, used that dazzle border right here. So one on the left, this one on the right. And then I'll talk to you about this one in a minute. And you can see everything's pretty flat, but she did use the wishing bubbles right there. Now for the third one, here it is. And here's the last little kitty. And it's on this sheet. And again, same thing with the silver. She's done that. Same thing with the greeting. But this time, she's got the border dazzles on each side. So left side, right side, both sides. And she's got the wishing bubbles trailing, the few down here and up here. So everything is consistent through the card, and it just makes for a really, really sweet project. OK, I have another kitty uh, project for you from our Teresa. And here it is, just really cute. Now let me slip this belly band off and let me show you what's going on here. So you can see this is a gatefold card, but there is a surprise inside. So I open this and then there is an easel card inside. How neat is that? Very, very fun. Okay. And it's really easy to do, which is something I so appreciate from Teresa. Um, one thing I want to tell you about the belly band, let's start with that. This is 12 inches long, so it's again our cardstock, and one and three quarter inches wide. Now, uh, I do want to remind you that all of the measurements are down below in the gallery. Just click on any card you want, and you'll see all the directions, uh, complete directions there. So that's really nice. So what she did with the belly band is she did the 12 inch um, cardstock, then slipped it behind her card and brought it to the front. Now you wanna make sure it's, it has enough give so that it can slide very easily. And then she went into that, uh, the kitty, uh, the feline friends, and used this one. And isn't it quite perfect because it is, fits beautifully. Just really, really nice. And it can kind of hide um, the surprise underneath. So that's really nice. She did another little one right there. And um, so as I said, that is the basis for our card. The other thing she did is she used the um, large uh, gingham. This is out of the 12 by 12. And then she put some of the thin line dazzles. Now, these have uh, just a ton of them. I think there's 250 in this package. They're in black, white, gold, and silver. And you can see that she lined them up perfectly. And I'll tell you, having the gingham to follow makes it a little bit easier because they're gonna be straight. So she did it on both and then she trimmed them so that they meet up perfectly. Then she, um, actually I should tell you before I move on what flowers she used. So she used the Tutti Frutti flowers from 49 and Market and added, and what's nice about these is you get three different sizes and you get several different shades of these kind of orangey pinky colors. And she used two of them there and the leaves. And Steve, I'm going to ask you to get in close because these are really tiny, but I think they're absolutely darling. And as soon as that remote works to his touch, there you go, thank you. You see these ladybugs? I think they're darling. And you get a gazillion of them in this uh, package from um, Buttons Galore. And one thing that we just received is this jewel picker. And what I like is that it enables you to pick up one thing, even if it's thin like a sequin or thin like a ladybug, and then place it. So put your dab of glue, pick up your ladybug, and then press it down. 
and it makes it easy. You've got a, a real thin one on one end, you've got a cap, and then you've got a thicker one on the other one. Both of them work, and they just stay sticky, so it works nicely. I just wanted to share that with you because it's a little tricky with these because they're so paper thin and they're tiny, but they do a really nice job. Okay, we can back up a little bit now, Steve, and we'll go inside our card. Now, inside our card, we want to have that easel card. So what Teresa did is she took a piece of cardstock and it measures seven by four and seven eighths, okay? And she scored at one half inch and at three and three quarters of an inch. So what she did is she folded that back and then this is going to be folded because this is going to become our easel. She put the half inch wide extra sticky tape. A lot of times we've used the quarter inch, but we do have both sizes and put it there. Let me go to a blank card. And then this is going to get attached on the back of the card on the inside. And because we cut it four and seven eighths inches, it has just enough room to snugly fit right inside. Okay, so that adhesive is going to keep it, and then that becomes our easel. Now, since we've got that mechanism done, let's go to the inside of this card. And what Teresa did on the inside, as you can see, she played with the different sizes of the gingham. So large gingham is covering each of the outside panels. The smaller gingham, and this is out of the 12 by 12 pack, is on the inside. Now this piece is going to be on our easel, so this is only going to get glued to that front half, the lower half of the easel. And this is right here. Just a, one great big one all by itself. Now she did punch out um, from that other uh, sheet that I showed you, happy birthday to you, added a ladybug, foam tape that. She's got more of the um, thin line dazzles. And then underneath, this is where she has another of the border, another dazzle. And don't you just think that little kitty's expression is absolutely darling with that ladybug there? A butterfly would be cute too. Have a wonderful day. These are foam taped toward the bottom because they need to hold that easel in place. Just works so nicely, don't you think? Really, really cute. Okay, so I'm gonna close this up and slide the belly band back on and get ready for our next card, which is also kind of a really special one from Teresa. And let me show it to you. Okay, whoops, <laughs> a little note there. Now, as I said in the opening, we did the dotted duos um, about a year ago, and we made sure that everything matches. And Teresa did a phenomenal job of putting them all together here. So she has used the dotted duos number two, going along with the gingham number two, along with the gingham number two cardstock. You've got it all, of course. So that's what she's done here. But being Teresa, she's gonna do something more. And let me open up this card and show you. So as I open it, look at that. It kind of pops out. See, it's got some layers on the inside. It's got a lot of layers on the inside. We're back to the 3D flowers and there are several packages. Um, these all come out of one. And this happens to be, this is called Butterflies on Flowers. Now, before I get into it, I just want to, walk you through a little bit for the front of it. So first of all, she cut a piece of the gingham to fit on the front of her card. Then she cut a piece of the uh, dotted duos and matted only one side. Now, I think that's a really neat technique and I don't think we often see it used, but I think that that edge just makes a nice separation between the two patterns. And you don't, oh, you know, we think about matting and we feel like we have to mat all the way around. Well, you don't have to. So that worked nicely. And then Teresa has done a dazzle border, and this is out of the fancy border dazzles. Now this has um, black, white, gold, silver, 
and you can see that she chose a gold one. So that does a really nice job. Now, her flowers, she has used two of them. As I said, this is Butterfly on Flowers. And actually, let me pull, okay. So this one is going right here. And then this butterfly is coming from this set. So she has combined, let me get some of these out of the way. She has combined these two sets on the front. So you can see she's got the butterfly, that butterfly separate. She's got this one and you can see how it is overlapping. So um, look at the photo and then you can place them. Again, there are three layers in every single one and you can make them bigger just by expanding or maybe putting a couple together. So that works nicely. The happy birthday comes from our card inside outside. The idea is that you have a greeting for the outside and you have greetings for the inside. So celebrate, the more candles, the bigger the wish. Happy birthday on the front, all of them coordinate. Now, on the inside of her card, let me show you what she's done. So she cut two windows, and I think we'll start with the biggest one, because that's what she did first. Nine and a half by six and a half. She put her paper on it, and this time, again, she's mixing her colors, so she's got the uh, orchid, the blue, and the pink, so that's nice. So she um, took the blue, and you can notice that that's the larger gingham, and she covered her um, nine and a half by six and a half. Then, to make it easy, <laughs> she took the 12 rectangles and scalloped and placed right there, turned it horizontally and placed it, and then ran it through her die cutting machine. And on the back side, she took the half inch wide extra sticky tape and taped it there. Okay, so I'm going to kind of show you how this goes in the card. So this is the first layer, okay? You can kind of see the back of the card. There are two pieces of the dotted duos, number two, that are just placed kind of close to the fold of the card. This then is going to go inside the card. Now, and the, the adhesive is going to attach it to each side, okay? So that's going to hold in place. So you wanna do the, the biggest one first. Then the next one is going to be this. It's nine by six and a half. So it's a little bit smaller in both directions. This has the, it's the pink cardstock and it has the pink gingham on it. It too is going to get die cut with the same uh, rectangle cutting die. Same thing, we're going to put the half inch um, extra sticky tape and then that tape is going to get attached to this, which is then attached inside our card to make this. So just those, so just that adhesive on the outside is, is holding those. And it just makes this a fun kind of window to open really, really easily. Now, what did she decorate? Well, other than dazzles and the paper and the cardstock, what she used are the um, 3D toppers that come out of that package. So you can see there's the blue set. That's going right there. Here is a pink set. It goes right there. And then she pulled some of the ones from the front here, one of the layers, and just added them on the outside of this window. Really, really nice. Now, when you go to duplicate this, you may want to um, have be looking at the website so you can see the card, and uh, then you can make adjustments as you like. But really fun. I, I call many of these just typical Teresa cards because they have such an extra special twist. All of them, of course, I'm delighted to say, are using our gingham number two, our gingham number two cardstock, as well as our six by six gingham. Everything coordinates, and that's what we're doing with all of our releases. I hope you like this. Like I said, I've been holding on to the wishing bubbles and the feline friends and the uh, 3D toppers. Really wanted to show them with the gingham set. So, 
All of the directions are down there. There's a money saver. You know where it is on the right side of our screen. And if you're on YouTube, come on over to paperwishes.com. Take advantage of the money saver. Be able to print out or use all of the directions because I think we're one of the few folks who give you complete instructions. And um, have a good time with our, uh, take a look at our website. We would enjoy having you there. And speaking of which, we enjoy having all of you here. So thank you for being with us and for being the best part of paperwishes.com.